Consider the following group of drainage areas and the corresponding intensity duration frequency curves provided for the region. Based on the provided times of concentration for each drainage area, as well as the travel time between drainage areas, the design rainfall intensity in inches per hour for the 25-year storm at point C is most nearly what? So some of you probably understand what to do with this problem based on the problem statement. But for those of you who forget what time of concentration is, you can still search for that term in the reference manual to find the following definition. The time of concentration is going to be the time required for the runoff to travel from the hydraulically most distant point of the watershed to the point of interest in minutes. So let's apply this definition by summing some combinations of drainage areas and travel times to find the longest. The first thing we can do is recognize that since two drainage areas are draining to each point A, B, and C, we can save some time by only summing the longer of the two. So we can see that 6 is greater than 4, so let's ignore drainage area 2. So for drainage area 1, the overland flow to point A will take 6 minutes. Then we will take 3 minutes to go from A to B and 6 more minutes to go from B to C. This will give us 15 minutes. Next, we can see that drainage area 4 is the longer of the two that drain to point B. So we can add 2 minutes to the 6 minutes from point B to C to get 8 minutes. Finally, we can see that drainage area 6 is the longer of the two drainage areas that drain directly to point C. We only need the 20 minute overland flow time here since we have no additional travel time required to get to point C. So we can see that although drainage area 6 is the closest physical distance to point C, it actually has the longest time of concentration, or the way our definition explains it, is the hydraulically most distant point. So if we take that number of 20 minutes and trace up on our intensity duration frequency plot to the line for the 25 year storm and then trace over to the intensity that corresponds to it, we can see that our answer is about 1.7 inches per hour or the third answer of our list. So all it takes to solve this problem is an understanding of time of concentration. It might feel weird to pick the closest physical point to the point in question, but a lot of PE problems are designed to make sure that you understand exactly what you're looking for. And in this case, we were looking for the hydraulically most distant point. And that's all it takes to solve this problem.